Have you ever looked at a video of your squats and thought, who the hell is that and why is he leaning over while he squats? So I, I've had experience with this and I know a number of people who have had experience with this, but they'll watch their squat from behind and they'll say, oh my God, that bar is so shifted. It might look like this or <laughs> maybe not quite that bad, but maybe something like this. And um, what they try to do then is they try to lift the tilted down side, okay? So if you have this barbell is twisting idea, generally you can't feel it. Unless you are looking at it, you can't, uh, <laughs> We're very biased in ourselves and we are overconfident in our abilities. And this is one example of that. So a lot of times I'll give someone a cue and I'll say, um, I want you to come over this way. And I'll say, okay, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. And then they'll say, oh my God, you want me all the way over there? And I'm like, yeah, but all I'm doing is just putting you back to center. And they're like, what? That's unreal. I had no idea I was so off kilter there. So it's the same kind of idea and maybe more so even with a uh, barbell squat where the bar is bending. So what I wanna talk about is why is the barbell bending? The, the spine is the biggest thing for us to look at. So I don't know if you know animal anatomy very well, but salamanders tend to crawl like this, where they side bend on each step, and our spines do the same thing. What happens when we take steps is some form of that, right? And now I'm exaggerating it so you can see it, but it's the same principle. Our, our spines and our hips can work in that way. So one hip will hike up, the spine will bend that way and the shoulder on that side will drop. And it looks kind of like a bar tilting while you're squatting. So I would caution the person who's trying to fix this by lifting the downside. I would say instead, you should look at the hips because that's closer to the ground. That's closer to where you're uh, producing the actual forces, right? So everything comes from the lower body. The interaction with the ground is what moves the bar. So we should start there. We should, and, and, and anecdotally, when we do start there, we generally see better things. And outside of that, if I'm tilting and I just lift the lower side, that's just shrugging on that side and that's just gonna shut off my hamstring, my glutes, my quads on that side. So I don't want any of that. Now, okay, so look at the hips first. If I am shifted this way and I see my squat like this, generally you're gonna see a side to side transfer a little bit um, in, in, you know, uh, concomitant with the barbell bending or tilting. So look at the hips, address the hips first. If you notice the right hip is too high, and you, maybe you know some anatomy, you can think, okay, what is too short? Let's make it longer. But generally, you can just look at it and say, okay, that's too short, let's do this instead. So if I notice someone with a right hip that's too high, I'm thinking, okay, they got too much abs here, they got too many intercostals here, that right shoulder is dropped down. We need to open up that right side. We need to drop the right hip and open the right lateral chest wall, side chest, armpit area. I need you to show me your armpit a little bit more when you flex, right? So that's, that's sometimes a good cue depending on what exercise you're doing. Um, and most importantly, if I think about doing this, here's your general rule. If I'm doing a hip shift and my right hip comes up higher, my left hip comes down lower, which glute is off? Which glute is longer is maybe a better question. Shorter glute is the left one. So this tilting shuts off my right one. So any exercise that helps you find that right glute, that helps you keep that and potentially keep that in some sort of squatting pattern can be therapeutic.
So make sure you're finding and feeling a right glute. I like to start people, if they're really shifted, some of the best exercises are single leg stuff. So a split squat is the best one to start with. Hold a really light weight in front of your body if you're, if you're pretty strong. Otherwise, just go body weight, maybe even support yourself on a chair in front of you. And you're just gonna come down, okay? And you're generally gonna wanna do the same thing. But when you're on one leg, it's much easier to cue. So we're gonna say, okay, let's hike the left hip up and we're gonna hang on to that this whole time. And then you might watch some of my other videos. You might see, oh my God, my foot, it's rolling out. Let's keep that foot flat. Let's keep that down. That's your basic rule. Keep the foot flat, keep the hips level. And then just try to run through that motion. Then you could do that for a couple of weeks or you could even do that right away and go squat again because the goal here is to improve the squat. So we want to use that as our major measure. If you're feeling a glute, that's a good thing. If you don't feel so tight over on that side that's higher, that's also a good thing. So I, I'm sure you're gathering by now, a tilting bar is usually not a quick fix and it's pretty complicated. So look at the hips, find out what glute is off, find out what inner thigh is off, hint, it's the opposite of the glute. If my right hip is higher, my left adductor is off. And if my left hip is higher, my right adductor is more off. And lastly, I would caution you, I'm trying to simplify this for you in this hip hike thing, but that's not the whole story because there's also twisting that's going on. When we side bend, just like our salamander crawls, we also turn our body. So this turns my spine, this side bending turns my spine this way, okay? So it doesn't turn all my spine this way, but it turns this part of my spine this way. So you need to be aware of that. You might not only have a, a tilt, but you might also have a turn and you're gonna have to keep that in mind. So if I have this right hip hike, make sure I'm looking for this glute here, make sure I'm looking for this inner thigh here, and make sure I can maintain some sort of lower outside abs because those are our general cue to say, okay, I have control of my hips, I'm optimizing my hip mobility, now I know that I'm squatting in a good position. So. Turn on the glute, look at the hips, and use those lower outer oblique abdominals to help guide you. Um, good luck.